Right, Tejas, it's been a long day for you, but stay with us. We're now going to go across to Maharashtra Chief Minister Ashok Chavan. Mr. Chavan, your first thoughts are on this verdict. In a sense, the guilty verdict for Kasab, no surprise at all. In fact, there were several people in India who would raise the question of uh, why it even took as long as it did, discounting the fact that this has been the fastest ter terror trial in India, given the fact that everybody knew that Kasab did it. We saw those photographs of him at CST uh, holding that AK-47. Your first thoughts, sir? No, I think this was a, a judgment which was delivered in the quickest possible time. I appreciate the hard effort put in by the government special prosecutor advocate, Mr. Ujwal Nikam. I think barely in one year's time, he had almost cross-examined around 650 witnesses in this case. And this is one of the judgments which has come in the short period of time. So I think uh, uh, this judge, there's nothing could be done as uh, better than this. Uh, I feel that uh, the judiciary has done a very fine job. They have delivered the most uh, expected and awaited judgment and uh, the police of Maharashtra also has to be complimented who have done a fine job. I think it was delivered in a, within a one year's time. Right, uh, Mr. Chavan, of course, uh, to that extent, compliments to the Mumbai police, but there's also been a big embarrassment uh, to them in some ways uh, with the acquittal of Fahim Ansari and Sabahuddin Sheikh. Uh, uh, J.K. Dath has often spoken, the former NSG chief, who will also be speaking on this program later, has, has often spoken about local support having been almost certain, given how well the terrorists seem to know the terrain. Well, uh, the judgment is yet to be read. I don't know the exact uh, circumstances under which uh, these two people have been acquitted. Uh, once the judgment is received, we will go into the details of that and maybe we'll take a final call after we have uh, discussed in the Home Department about this. Uh, Mr. Chivan, but in terms of the perception that it might create about the case, about the police, some people may talk in terms of two innocent men being framed, investigators though are continuing to maintain that both of these men are terrorists who have definitive links with the Lashkare uh, Taiba. Uh, what do you believe? Do you believe that in a sense this is embarrassing for the police or do you believe that they were not able to present their evidence properly in the court? No, the police have done their level best. I really don't know under what circumstances or what are the issues on which the court has um, acquitted them. I, it's too early for me to comment on these issues. I think the police have done a fine job. Let's get the judgment details and then we'll be able to comment on that. All right, but do you believe, Mr. Chavan, that this is something, this acquittal is something that the police uh, should appeal against? Would you, would you want them to appeal against it? Well, that's why I'm saying that I'll consult the Mr. Ujwal Nikam and also the Home Department officials and definitely, if there is the slightest possibility, we'll appeal. Do you, sir, believe uh, that there is any ambiguity in terms of what fate Ajmal Kassab will now uh, meet? Uh, the sentencing is expected only in the next few days. Do you think that there's any doubt at all left that this will be now a death sentence? He has been found guilty of waging war against the state. Well, uh, as we all expected, there's a general feeling in the people of India uh, Maharashtra, all over the world, this trial has been watched. So I feel the general sentiments of the people that he should be uh, convicted or sentenced to death is the general feeling. Now, it's ultimately for the court to take a view on this, depending upon how they have analyzed the entire thing. I think the general sentiments of the people.